Single Track Nine's latest album Hey is available throughout Malaysia, Singapore, Brunei, and will soon be Indonesia. Now, what's really interesting about Single Track Nine is that not only is he well known for his music, he's also brought fame to our country by representing Malaysia in the professional jet ski competitions. Now, Alex and the Petronas Jet Sports Racing Team brought along their race jet skis to the shoot, so of course I couldn't possibly not take a ride. Get ready for some action! They both have a lot in common, according to Single Track Minds Alex Wong, musician one day and professional jet ski racer the next. Both give him an adrenaline rush and the feeling of complete freedom. In fact, music and jet skiing was so entwined that in 2003, Alex had a gig and a race back to back over one weekend. His Hot Rock Cafe Asia Tour and the Asia Pacific Kings Cup in Pattaya, Thailand. Yeah, I, I like speed. I like anything to do with speed. That's, that's my problem. That's my vice. Well, his vice for speed has certainly brought glory for the country many times over. Before he discovered the thrills of jet skiing, Alex Wang represented Malaysia in the ASEAN Kart Prix Championship. A natural progression from go kart racing, Alex took up racing in the professional jet ski tour. In 1995, he was ranked eighth in the U.S. World Cup in Florida and seventh in the UIM World Championship in Dubai. Okay, now the question is one that I really want to know is that. Isn't jet skiing dangerous? Have you had any injuries so far? I've only had one big injury and that was during practice. And, you know, that was a, a torn cartilage. I've been really lucky. You know, over 10 years of this and nothing major. How do you prevent... Don't jinx me now, Zandra. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, but how do you prevent yourself from getting hurt? Because when you're, when you're in action, you don't really think about, ooh, let's be safe. You're thinking, ooh, how should I complete this stunt, right? Yeah, you do. You do. When you... The higher up the level you go, like I was racing, racing the pro class, so everyone knows what they're doing in the pro class. But you know, we wear guards, we have, you know, we have shin guards, we have body armor, so I'm very much like motocross riders, so, so I've been hit on my body before I was wearing a, a, a body kit, so, and luck, luck has a lot to do with it, you know. Alex's racing exploits have taken him to Australia, America, New Zealand, the Middle East, Guam, Korea and the Philippines. And these are just the tip of the icebergs of the many countries he's been to. Well, say so you've traveled all over the world, right? What's your most memorable, uh, would, would I say, competition? I would say three big ones. Um, the Australian Championship title. I was trying so hard to win that title and I finally won it in 96 and um, that was the biggest thrill my family was there and you know to hold the number one plate up after trying beating all those Aussies it was, it was, it was a great thrill and the Asia Pacific title with Petronas that was great the Petronas Jet Sports Racing Team signed Alex on in 1997 and team principal Inchik Abdul Zabidin made him their lead rider. In just under a year of being with the team, Alex won the Asia Pacific title for Petronas. Another memorable one was Korea. I won the Korean Championship in I don't know year it was. And that was great because when the check came, it had a lot of it had six zeros at the end of it. So, but it was Korean one, you know. Korean one is. The currency is uh, just a lot of digits. Doesn't mean I want millions. <laughs> but it was still a big thrill to it. Well, passion is something that no amount of money can buy. But all things, however good, do eventually come to an end. After over nine great years with the Petronas Jet Sports Racing Team, Alex's participation in the World Kings Cup Watercross 2006 in Thailand was his last race. He has now officially retired from the sport. So to retire now or to give it up um, professionally racing, would you say that it's a very difficult decision or very bittersweet or are you are you thinking you know what i've been there i've done that i've achieved what i want and it's time to just let go it, it's hard it's hard I, I i love everything about racing i love it's not just being on the track and racing i love being with the team 
you know, the dinners, the hanging out. I love all that. I, I love my helmet. I miss putting this on. I, I love putting this thing on and then getting on the line and the guys are getting me ready, tuning the boat. And you disappear into your own self, your space, and you get ready for, and you psych up for the race. It's, it's, it's amazing. All right, so what's the biggest misconception about jet skiing? That it's dangerous. Because it's not. If you know what you're doing, it's, it's great. Um, we are... Malaysia is like two islands, isn't it? East Malaysia, West Malaysia. And we're surrounded by beautiful islands and all that. So everyone should get out on the jet ski and go. The sad thing about it is it's kind of expensive, you know. How much would it be to... To, to buy a jet ski is expensive, but to rent a jet ski, of course, you can do that everywhere in Penang and so on. All the resorts have it, so... All right, what if someone like me doesn't know how to jet ski? Well, you know me, so I can always take you out. <laughs> we should do that soon. I should take you out today. Okay, can so... Can I convince you to go out on the boat today? Yeah, well, you know what? Um, after what he's told me, I'm, you know, with all the adrenaline and how awesome it is to put this helmet on. So I do think I'm going to give it a try, but you must guarantee that I'll be safe, okay? I'll guarantee that you will <laughs> enjoy yourself. You'll get a little bit wet, but you enjoy yourself. All right, let's okay. go. There's no break! <laughs> so this is why I like the sport. I can get to go up and I get to sit behind Zandria. I'm lucky, right? None of this is making sense. Now that Alex has retired from professional jet skiing, the Petronas Jet Sports Racing Team must be looking for a new racer. Well, whichever the case, we all know who it's not going to be.